Hello everybody and welcome along to Cosplay Tutorial for FS19 episode number 5. I am Simulation for the Nation and today we are looking into grain carting. Specifically two types of grain carting and two methodologies. As you can see, uh, we're back in the same test field here. Uh, the, the combine over there is full and it's going to need to be emptied out pretty quickly. But before we can do that, we need to go and record our course. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump into our weapon of choice which today is the largest fast track that is this the 8330 yes it is uh, i'm going to record a course from kind of the center of the field here this is going to be our start point uh, this is there are several different types of uh, grain carton courses we're going to look into the first one though is nice and straightforward this is when the trailer has been uh, completely filled from the offset so the all the course is doing is taking us to the uh, the silo tipping and returning um, as you can see we want to bring up our course play menu we have several different options down in the bottom corner here. We want to use the very first one, which is this one here, Grain Transport Load at Start. And then I'm going to hit Start recourse, uh, Recording. And then all we need to do is drive ourselves away down to the local silo, which is just, the grain elevator is just over to our um, to our left there. Uh, so we've taken this tractor purely because it's nice and quick for us today. Uh, so as you can see, as we're recording the course here, we are leaving all of our course nodes. Uh, so we're just going to zip on up and then we're going to come back to that combine in a second. That combine is on course play as well, so as soon as we get it emptied it will look to move on again. Uh, and we're going to come up to here, nice and close by for this experiment. We're just going to tip into the, uh, drive through the grain elevator, set our tip point and then disappear back. And then once we do that, um, we'll get it all saved and then fill this up and watch it roll. So then we just want to take a little bit of time as we come through the elevator just so we rule out any possibility of course play crashing. Go to that view there so I can see. Uh, go forward a little bit more, stop there. We're going to set this button here which is our uh, set unload point, so we're going to hit that. And now we have our unload symbol, and now we're just going to zip back down to the field as quickly as possible. Now this can be done uh, not just for grain carton, but it's a very similar principle for um, for any kind of trailer work really. Uh, for uh, You can have this work for if you're leading silage, uh, maize or anything, it will apply as well. As the only difference being would be the end point, i.e. where it's going to be tipped and the clamp would be a bit different. But that is pretty much it. This is a nice fast track actually, it's really nice. One thing to bear in mind as well, if you don't like seeing all of the different uh, course play warnings, for example in this co uh, case here we have the red low warning suggesting that the ideal 8T uh, needs to be unloaded, you can always hide the HUD uh, and when doing so if you put the map up like this it will hide that as well. Now what we're going to have to do here, this is one of the important things, we have our start point over here, what you need to make sure is when you're with your end point that you leave it in line with the start point. The reason we do that is so when I press save here, when the course, uh, when the course plate takes over and drives, once it finishes here, it will um, go to the start point and wait uh, to be filled up. Once it's full and completely 100% it will drive on unless we instruct it to otherwise. Uh, for now though, uh, if you if you leave the two start and end point kind of like here, like next to each other, it will forever drive in circles and it'll get lost and we don't want to do that. But we're going to go and drive over, we'll just fill this out, uh, empty this trailer. We've gone for a smallish trailer because this grain tank on this ideal is huge and I want to fill it as quickly as we can. So we'll swing it here, stop, 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 stop. We have script the course plate at the minute whereby it will actively close the whole tank down, uh, close the whole combine down, which means you are left with this corn, which is a bit odd. Now, I need to fill you up. And here. The second part of today's uh, tutorial, we are going to show how to fill a, a, com a grain cart uh, whilst the combine is moving and how to lead off of the combine, which is a, a different challenge in itself, but nice and easy nonetheless. Uh, as you can see, we are nearly 
Oh, here, Zipnella. Come back, come back, come back. Take as much as we can. I'll do. There are two things we can do here. Uh, we, if you are at one hundred percent, cosplay takes over and casts the machine away. If you are less than that, you can instruct cosplay to go with less than one hundred percent. And we're going to show you exactly how to do that now. Uh, now we are. There's a few configurations you need to make sure you have correct as well. Uh, for example, if we look down here, number of runs to perform, you can set a, a specific number. So it'll let you do five, ten. One, if you'd prefer. We're going to go unlimited because we just want it to clear the field. And we also may need to make sure the crop type is correct. So we're on barley at the moment, so that's uh, you can choose between any crop type. And then we're just going to go drive course. Now what you'll see is that the uh, fast track is going to get to the start point. And usually this is where it's going to wait until you're at 100%. But as we're not doing that, we're going to hit drive now. And off it goes. So we're going to watch this through. Should follow the course that we set nicely. If you are using multiple tractors, of course, uh, you need to keep in mind that there's a chance that tractors will be passing each other on the road. So you need to make sure that you're very disciplined with your lane uh, driving. So you want to make sure that you're driving on the right side of the road and keeping them across the road enough so that the two tractors, when they pass each other, won't collide. Because that will just uh, guarantee that's going to happen at every opportunity. Uh, so if you do that, it will work pretty efficiently. And also, where possible, try and devise a loop whereby tractors come into the gateway, into the field at one end, if you have gates and fences, for example, and go out at another end. By doing that, it means that you really reduce the potential to, for collisions. And collisions on course play are the biggest enemy. As you can see, it says tip trigger reached, which is good. We're just going to come into here. Lovely job. And away it goes again. So just like that, it is going to go back to the start point where it will uh, wait up. And wait for us to tell it its next instructions, really. Alright folks, so there you have it, a nice and simple grain carting uh, course play creation. Uh, I hope this has been useful to you. We will go into a bit more detail into the combination of uh, uh, unloading the combine and uh, driving to the grain elevator in a later episode there. But until then, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope this has been useful for you. If you have enjoyed this and it, uh, you have found it very beneficial, then do hit that like button, subscribe. And of course, if you have any comments or questions, do leave those down below and I will get back to you. For now though, thank you ever so much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.